a song where you're like, man, I hear this song anytime, and it's not a thousand years song. Don't, don't think about that. I hear this song, and I instantly can go, boom, I remember what I was doing. Anyway, any song? What were you, why, why is that song important to you? Um, I was a little girl in college. Nice. <laughs> for me, it's not for teacher because I was in a strip club in Maryland. That's what I'm talking about. I can test many songs um, that revolve big hair bands from the 80s that make the best songs for a strip club. Uh, right, Troy? <laughs> Anyway, all right, I know he's an 80s, big hair 80s, oh, yeah. so I had to pick him up. Um, and it's only taken him two years to get to one of my shows. So <laughs> and um, so I just always remember this, and the reason why is my first wife said, hey, we're going to go have lunch at this Mill Street Inn, which sounds like a lovely place, and we're going to uh, meet one of my co-workers, who's a stripper. I'm like, all right, cool, let's you know, it's not the first time we've met one of her co-workers. And I get there and I'm like, wow, white top, Britney Spears, Catholic school girl bottom. Not for teachers on. This is the day I should ask my wife for a threesome. <laughs> <laughs> and I did. But still though, best day ever. Best day ever. Um, so my son and I were at Dave Chappelle back in November. In Wells Fargo. And he's never seen like a major comic. I've seen Chappelle, I've seen Eddie Murphy, Rob Williams died, damn him. Now Betty White's died, so damn her. But, um, so he is just having a ball. They've got a DJ. If you weren't there, I'll tell you He had a DJ and a hype man. They're playing all this music in the 80s and that is all hip hop this, hip hop that. And this one song comes on and I look over and my son is just, I mean, he's 19. Sometimes he thinks he's blind. But he can dance. Like, I cannot dance. I can't sing either and I can't dance. So he um, is just bouncing like left and right and enjoying this one song. So I said, you sit down and listen to one, do this. And in my head, I'm like, that's Vanity Six. That's Nasty Girl. Prince wrote that song. And the song, and I'm not going to sing it. There's a line in the song where the girl says, I want a man to love me like he's never loved anyone before. I want him to do it anywhere, even in the middle of the court. And I look over and John is just, and I say, are you having a good time? He's like, I'm having the best time of my life. So I walked over in his ear and I said, hey, you like this song? Yeah, the DJ is just pumping, awesome. Yeah, this was your mom's bow song when she was getting, before she went dressed for the night. And she was going to go go, go out clubbing. And he's looking at me, why did you tell me this? <laughs> I said, because I want to give you something for your effing therapist to talk about when you're in your 30s. Because I'm in my 50s, and pretty soon I will have a lot to talk about my mother. So I also looked at him and said, hey, um, I guess by chance you don't want to know the three songs your mom and I used to like to have sex to, do you? And he's like, no. Oh, let me know the week before.